Who is ready to start the 30 day carnivore challenge? Today is the day. Today is your day. This is the day where we are going to get healthy together. We're gonna to encourage one another. This is a special day. And I have a few tips for you and make sure you stay till the end because I have an amazing tip at the end that I promise will be worth the wait. For those of you that have not met me, I am Jen Lee and this is Gentastic Journey. This is a Gentastic Journey all about bringing more joy and happiness to life. And certainly getting healthy is one of those ways that we bring more joy and longevity to our lives. So I have to make a request of you first. And that is after you like and subscribe, please comment. Today is a great day to put your goals out there. Let us know why you're doing this carnivore challenge. For some of you, it might be to try out this way of eating. You've heard about it and you're curious, so you're gonna give it a try. Other of you have serious health conditions that you need to fix and you need to get under control. Others of you may just wanna try and lose weight. And whatever your reason, give us a comment and let us know so that we can continue to encourage you and we can celebrate your wins along this journey. Share as little or as much as you like. There's no perfect thing to say. If you wanna just say, hey, I'm here, that's great too. If you wanna be specific about your goals, even better, whatever, we're just excited to have you with us. One of the things I love about the carnivore community is how kind-hearted they are, how they encourage, and a lot of carnivores do a lot of research. So we're gonna be able to encourage one another and answer the questions that come up along the way. And everybody, as I've said along these last five videos, there are a lot of people that lose weight and get healthier and heal in different ways. This community will help us along the way when we have the questions and we're like, why isn't this happening? And why isn't this working? And why do I feel like this? So ask the questions. That's what the comments are there for. That's why we're doing this together. So please use that comment section. If you don't know where it is, it's just below the description box and it says comments. And if you click into that, then you'll be able to add your own comment and see what other people have said. I'm gonna put a comment in there to start it off and then everybody can go from there. All right, before we get to the meat of this video, get it? Meat, M-E-A-T. <laughs> okay, a little carnivore humor there. <laughs> uh, bear with me. I'm a little excited about this today. Before we get into the meat of the video, I wanted to answer a question that keeps coming up, and it's something that I think is just intuitive, but it's obviously not. So you don't wanna assume, because <laughs> you know what happens when you assume, so I am going to just put this out there. People have said, when are you gonna tell us what to eat? So I'm going to answer that right now. You can eat anything that technically comes from animals. We're going to focus on carnivore with meats, seafood, and eggs for the first 30 days. We've talked about some of the nuances. Can you add dairy? Can you add coffee? Go back and review my videos if you have questions about those things. It's a very individualized decision, and it depends on how much healing you have to do versus if you're just trying to lose weight. So go back to those videos and check that out. I wanted to give you a scenario of what are some things you're gonna eat for breakfast and what can you eat for lunch and what can you eat for dinner? And you can mix this up. There's no set rule here. We're just gonna try and keep this as an elimination diet and we're eliminating all carbs, all plants, all fruits, and anything processed. So first of all, I'm gonna assume that everyone's gonna eat three meals. It's kind of a good idea in the first 30 days to eat and not go into any sort of starvation. That's not what this plan is about. If you're used to eating three meals a day, then continue eating three meals a day and make sure you're eating when you're hungry and you're eating until you're comfortably full. Again, we talked about those in the prep videos. Again, I'm going to link the prep videos here for you. It's a whole video list and you can pick and choose which ones you haven't seen yet. So breakfast, what could that look like? That could look like three to six eggs. It can look like three to eight eggs, just depending on who you are, what your goal weight again is, and eat again until you're full. I would also add something like bacon or some very clean ingredient sausage or ham that doesn't have sugar in it or other funky ingredients. Make breakfast as fun as you want it. Now, if you are not an egg person in the morning and you don't want to be traditional, then 
have some salmon, have a hamburger patty, mix it up and, and whatever suits you in the morning, go for it. If you are not a morning person and you don't like to eat first thing in the morning, then maybe you're gonna be a two meal a day or you're going to push your meals maybe into a, a smaller window of eating. For lunch, and again, I'm as I mentioned in my prior video, four hours later, let's try and make it four hours until our next meal and that's where all the healing happens is in that four hours. When that four hours has passed and you start to get hungry, then let's start eating lunch. That can be ground beef and certainly add your fats. So ground beef with butter or ground beef with ghee or ground beef with beef tallow, whatever you like as your fat. You could have beef patties if that's easier for you. You could have a couple pieces of bacon, a couple pieces of sausage, a little piece of salmon. Any meat or seafood that excites you, eat that or add eggs in the afternoon if you don't like them in the morning, or if you like them at both times. Eggs are great. They're a great combination of fats and proteins. Some of you may be sensitive to eggs. If you are, get the egg whites out of there and try just egg yolks. That's where all the good stuff is anyway. Okay, let's talk about dinner. Again, four hours later, no snacking. If you feel like snacking, it means that you didn't eat enough in your prior meal. You wanna eat until you're comfortably full so that you aren't going to be snacking. And within a few days, you're not going to feel hungry like you used to when you were eating the standard American diet. For dinner, my absolute favorite meal is steak. I can just eat a steak on a plate, cooked, obviously. I don't eat raw. I eat cooked, but I like it rare. I love a ribeye because it's got really good fat to protein ratio. It also just tastes delicious. If you aren't that into the fat on meat, you will get there. Your body will start to crave the things that it needs and fatty cuts of meat is really what your body needs. You can also eat any of the other things we've talked about. You can eat lamb, you can eat veal, you can eat the fatty chicken, like the dark meat chicken. So you can have a chicken thigh or, or a turkey leg, whatever meats you want. Also, you could have seafood. Again, seafood is a great idea. A lot of people that have trouble with having just one thing on their plate, like a steak, which I love, but you can put a piece of steak and you can have a little piece of salmon or you can have a, a few shrimp. You know, doctor up your plate if you're missing the all the different sides that you used to have. Make it fun. Just make it something that comes from animals. For those of you that are like, oh my gosh, she wants me to eat steak every day. Steak can be expensive, but you're also not buying any of the other junk you used to buy at the store and all that stuff adds up. You're gonna be amazed at how your cabinets and your refrigerator are pretty bare because you don't have all that other filler stuff and all the sides and all the snacks you need to have throughout the day. A lot of times this is an actually cheaper way of eating. As I talked about in my other videos, buy what you can afford. So if you can't afford a ribeye steak or a top sirloin steak, then maybe you get a chuck steak and that's a little bit cheaper of a cut. And that's fine. Add a little bit of butter and make it taste good. Maybe cook it slower. Whatever you want to do, just make this your own. You know what your budget is, so buy what you can, buy with what's within your budget. So that's a day of food. Isn't that easy? It's really not that hard. Just think of all your favorite meats and your favorite seafood and make that your first week of meals. Make this fun for the first week. Buy whatever you want. Go to the store, go to the meat aisle and say, ooh, I love a good piece of lamb or I love that piece of steak. Just make this a great week for you. And I promise you will appreciate it later because you're gonna be like, this is not as difficult as I thought it was. That was a typical day of food. What else you need to do is to make sure you drink your water. Now, I talked about water and how important it is, but let's not drink water with our meals. There's many studies out there that say that a lot of your breaking down of your food and your enzymes are in your saliva. And when you drink while you're eating, you are diluting those enzymes that causes you not to digest your food as easily. And this is an adjustment for your body because you're going to be eating a lot of protein and fat. Let your body use all those enzymes to break down the food so that you can absorb all the nutrients you need from it. So drink all that water in between your meals. Give yourself about 60 to 90 minutes and then start drinking your water because water is super important on this plan. If you are a person that prefers to eat two meals a day, then you just need to incorporate the same amount of food into a smaller eating window. So maybe you start eating at 12 and you stop eating at seven. Just make sure that you're getting those macros loosely. This is not a ton of tracking, but you may wanna track 
for a day or two just to make sure you're getting enough food. The most common problem on this plan is that people don't eat enough and you wanna make sure you're getting enough protein. Protein is what helps your body do all the amazing things that it does on a minute by minute basis. And then the fat is what it's gonna fuel you. Those of you that were on a carb heavy diet before this, your body was used to every time it was hungry or every time it needed energy, you would give it some carbs. Well, the same thing's gonna be true with fats. So make sure you're eating those fats. If you are feeling hungry or if you are feeling like you don't have enough energy, increase those fats a little bit. And when you say, wait, what does she mean increase fats? Have a little bit more butter on your eggs or have a little bit more ghee when you mix your ground beef together or put a tablespoon of butter on top of your salmon. Don't be afraid of fats in this plan. That is what is fueling your body. That is what is replacing the carbs. I mentioned that it may be helpful to get a food and nutrition tracker. And I linked a bunch of them in a couple of videos ago. I'll link them again below in the description box. The reason why I say have a tracker ready when you need it or just track once in a while is if you're not feeling as well as some of the other people are feeling or you're not getting some of the benefits that I've talked about. Now give yourself a week, you know, that you've been eating poorly for a long time. And so if you don't expect overnight results, but within a few days, I even just saw a comment this morning on a Carnivore Beginners Facebook page where someone said, I'm already feeling amazing and it's only been three days. Is it just in my brain? Am I just convincing myself of this or do I feel this amazing? And yes, you can feel amazing within a couple of days or three days or so. Other people, they have a lot more healing to do and it might take them longer. They may not be eating enough fat. Track for a few days if you feel like things are not going as well as maybe you had hoped. Just track and that way you'll go, okay, I'm getting one gram of protein per pound of ideal body weight, and I'm getting at least one gram of fat per pound of ideal body weight as well. Just check yourself. Just make sure that everything's going great. There may be a few of you that are saying, why does she keep talking about weight loss? I'm not here to lose weight. I'm here to heal my body from different autoimmune diseases or your skin conditions or mental health conditions. For those of you that do not want to lose weight, keep increasing those fats until you're no longer losing weight, and that will assist you and then certainly comment if you are struggling at all and I will try and help you or point you in the right direction so that you can get some help. As I've mentioned in previous videos, eat when you're hungry, eat until you're comfortably full. This is a new sensation for a lot of you, but you wanna eat until you're full, until you're feeling like you can't eat anymore. I'm also giving you permission to push away your plate with food on it. I know I was raised where you don't leave food on your plate, but I'm giving you all permission to do that. So if you are full, then push that plate aside. You do not have to eat everything on your plate, but if you're hungry in between meals, then you are probably not eating enough in that prior meal. So just keep that in mind. Finally, we're getting to the nuts and bolts of what this video was supposed to be about, and that's what should I expect for this week? This is our first week. What are some of the things I should expect? So let me go through those with you. First, you can expect your body to expel a lot of excess fluids that it's been holding on to because of all the carbs that we normally eat in our standard American diet. So you'll be expecting to be peeing more often. And so that's why it's super important to make sure that you are replenishing those fluids with water throughout the day, just not at mealtimes. We definitely don't want to get dehydrated as your body finds the new balance between eating fats and proteins versus eating carbs. And your body will do that probably within a week or so. It would be helpful to make sure you're salting your foods and taking electrolytes. I do recommend, and I've read a million comments that I follow a lot of carnivore doctors and I've read several books on this, you do want to take those electrolytes at least until your body figures out how to change that electrolyte balance now that you don't have all those carbs that are holding on to all that fluid. Help yourself out, take a good electrolyte powder, just put it in your water. A lot of them don't have any taste. Make sure you don't get any with any sugar in them. If you can, try and keep the sweeteners out of there as well because that will just help your cravings end sooner. The electrolytes also help with cravings, so that's why it's really good. Again, that's magnesium, potassium, and salt 
in those electrolyte powders and that should help you out as you're getting all rid of all this excess fluid. The win with getting rid of all this excess fluid is you will start to feel those aches and pains go away. Your joint pain will get better. You'll wake up in the morning and your knees won't hurt and your back won't hurt and your hands. I have terrible carpal tunnel. When I am very serious, strict on carnivore, my hand pain goes away. So those of you that struggle at night with hand pain and pain shooting up your arms, it really goes away when you get rid of all that excess fluid. So look for that as a major win in the first week. Also expect to feel a little sluggish. There is something called the keto flu, carnivore flu, Anytime you are taking carbs out of your body, especially if you didn't prepare and get your carbs slowly out of your body, your body is gonna go through withdrawal. It is going to be looking for those easy carbs to convert into glucose for energy, and now it needs to convert fat into energy, which is a little bit harder, a little bit slower process for the body, and so it has to get used to that and say, it's, it's kind of going, where are my carbs? You may get a little bit of a headache, and maybe feel like you don't wanna get out of bed and you may have almost like flu-like symptoms. So give yourself a little bit of grace there. It is temporary and you will get through it. Some people, it's just a couple of days. Some, it doesn't hit you until kind of the end of the first week, but just give yourself a little bit of grace. Know that it may be coming. Some people get very mild symptoms. Some get very heavy symptoms. Kind of depends on how much your body has to heal. Be kind to yourself. Rest more. Drink that water. Make sure you're eating. Eat those fats if you're hungry and you don't have the energy. Again, this is not a time where you're going to want to be withholding things from yourself. Be kind to yourself. Rest when you need it. And I know we all have busy lives, but please try and rest when you can. All right, the next one is sleep. Get plenty of it. I just mentioned rest, but sleep is important as well. There are so many good benefits of sleep, but especially as your body is healing during this first week of carnivore, you're just going through a lot. So don't expect your body not to need more sleep or at least a good amount of sleep in this first week. It's super important for you to maintain your energy levels and to help your body do all these processes that it needs to do to get you nice and healthy. Also, another benefit of carnivore is you will start to have the best sleep of your life. A lot of carnivores talk about how amazing their sleep is, especially people that really have trouble sleeping when they were on the standard American diet or other diet plans. Just keep that in mind. Sleep is an amazing thing, and when you can do it well, it's amazing right okay and then lastly some of you may be getting super excited about eating greasy burgers and buttery eggs and steaks and salty bacon and you're like oh my gosh these are gonna be such decadent foods and others of you maybe people like me that were plant-based for a long time you may be going are you kidding me oh I cannot believe I'm going to have to eat fat and meats and things like that so you may have an initial aversion to it but don't worry, your body knows what you need. And so over time, you're gonna to start to crave those things. You will start to crave those proteins and fats and meats along the way, the farther along you get. Initially, you may be like, oh, I only get the steak for dinner. And then eventually you're gonna be like, oh, I get this amazing steak for dinner. So it changes, you will change what your body needs. It's going to go for those fatty meats and the things like that. Start listening to yourself. It's amazing how your body reacts. Look for that as well. Along those same lines, you'll start to realize how simple this plan really is. It is so simple to just make yourself a big steak at night. I mean, just imagine, you know, you're done with work. You don't have to worry about sides and cooking this, that, and the other thing you are just gonna make yourself a nice steak or you're gonna make yourself a couple of hamburger patties or three or four hamburger patties or you're gonna make eggs or whatever the case may be. But it's a lot simpler. And like I said, there will be a lot simpler things in your cabinets, hardly anything in most of your cabinets because we're not buying boxed and bagged foods anymore. So it's your fridge and freezer, but they're still gonna look streamlined because there's not that much stuff. Look for that simplicity. As promised, I have a tip for you and this is an important one. So make sure you're all listening to this. If you are not not truly invested in this way of eating, if you are not truly invested in carnivore, then I would strongly caution you. Don't try and eat this way of eating plus eat your carbs. It is a recipe for disaster. You are replacing your carbs with fats and then we're maintaining protein, which every person needs, right? If you're adding the fats, 
plus the carbs, your body is going to go with the carbs first and it's going to try and break those down and use as much as they can. And then whatever it can't use is gonna convert into fat stores. And then same thing with all this fat you ate, it doesn't need that because it had all the carbs. So it's going to store that as well. And you are going to feel terrible. You're going to gain weight. So let's not do that. Either be all in or maybe wait and, and wean yourself off those carbs. I don't want you to screw things up like that. It's not healthy for you. This elimination diet is going to then focus you on fats and also your proteins. Your fat is your thing that you can work with to either get more or get less. Your protein, you need a standard amount to live and thrive. Again, no carbs. So if you can't do that, then just wait a little bit. Maybe watch us for this 30 days or maybe jump in in a week after you see some of the questions get answered. Whatever you need to do, I just don't want you to harm yourself further by eating carbs and fats plus the proteins, okay? So that's my big tip. All right, I am going to check in with you at the end of the week and make sure you're doing okay. The remainder of my videos are going to be to encourage you, support you, give you some additional tips, some shout outs, and even some carnivore recipes. Yes, carnivore recipes that makes things fun. If you're the type of person that likes to experiment, change things up, then do that. I am that type of a person. My husband can eat the same thing every single day. And if you're that type of person, it is way easier for you. I will share some of my favorite recipes with you as well along this way. I will also give some shout outs to those of you that comment. And I promise you, I will answer every single comment. That is my promise to you. And if you don't like to do the commenting thing because it's too public for you, check out my email address. It's gentasticjourney at gmail.com. It is in the description box below. And you can always email me if you have something that is more private that you want to ask me about. And I promise you I will answer all my emails as well. So whatever way you want to communicate, the whole reason we're doing this together is because we want to encourage one another. And I want to certainly support you. I'm so excited to see what's going to happen in a positive way for all of you over the next 30 days. Don't forget your assignment. Make sure you're commenting. Let us know what your goals are and some of the things that you hope to do. Or just tell us what your fears are, or what your hopes are, whatever it is. We'd love to hear from you because that's the beauty of this social media platform, right? Okay, one more thing before we go. Take those before and after pictures. And if you just can't stand to do that, I know that I have almost deleted all of my, what I would say, horrible before pictures. I don't like to have pictures sitting out there <laughs> anywhere that has me looking at my worst. I am going to try and find one because I do want to give you guys a before and after so that you guys are like, you know, this lady's never really told us other than she lost 30 pounds what she looked like before and after. So I promise you I will dig into uh, some of my family's pictures and see what they have of me so that I can try and get you a good before and after picture. If you don't want to do a before and after picture, another good option is there's an app and it's called Me360 and that's all spelled out in words. That is an app. It's a free app and it set it up in front of you and then it takes a picture of you and it's kind of a black and white indistinct picture, but it, it can measure then your arms and your legs and your waist and your every part of your body. And it will estimate your fat to muscle ratio and all of those things that you need to know. You'll be able to take pictures over time and it will show your progress. And that was really cool for me, especially when the scale wasn't moving, to see that my body fat went down several percentage points. That is really cool. I would encourage you to either do that or start to measure yourself, get like a measuring tape and measure yourself. And that way, when the scale is not really working because we are maintaining our muscle mass that you don't get discouraged because the scale doesn't look like it's moving as fast, but look at the way your clothes are fitting and look at those Me360 and look at some of your measurements. You'll be happy that you did that. All right, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today. I can't wait to hear about all your successes along the way. And even if you're not, let us help you. Everybody will get there. I think this is a great plan and there's very few people that I've found that don't do well on this plan. So I look forward to hearing all the positive things from you. I'll catch you in the next video.